Welcome back to Jesse at Home. I am super excited because as you can see, we are decorating my new house for Christmas. If you're new here, my husband and I just bought this house in April. We've been doing a lot of um, home renovations and room makeovers. We've been just been going go, 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 and we're putting a pause on that for now. I will link a playlist up in the iCard so you can catch up if you want to see everything that we've done to this house. But right now, I'm just going to enjoy decorating this beautiful foyer. I always wanted a large tree in my foyer and I, I want to do this swagged lighted garland across it just looks so pretty it's just like a winter wonderland um, I'm just so excited to kind of learn this house and figure out what I want and which room and um, you know it's always a process so I hope you enjoy uh, decorating with me I hope you are in the mood to start your holiday decorating leave me a comment below if you decorate early like me or if you wait until after Thanksgiving Before I started YouTube, I actually used to wait and to decorate until after Thanksgiving, but last year we decided to go ahead and do it early. That way it would be up and done. And I have to say, I absolutely love that. Even if I never did YouTube again, we'd still decorate early. Um, we have it up for a longer period of time, but December is so busy for us with three or four birthdays in the family and just all the holiday activities that we always felt super stressed trying to hurry up and get the house decorated. Um, and now we just do it early. We enjoy Thanksgiving and then we get to enjoy the holiday month without stressing about getting everything done all the time super fast. So basically we're just prepping early for the holidays. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our differences aside and just enjoy this moment of peace and love and happiness. We come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one. This whole front foyer area kind of throws me off with the two sconces the way they are. Um, I don't really know how to decorate this even not for Christmas. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm still thinking and Pinteresting and trying to figure out this front entry area. I don't know if I'm going to build like a built-in bench um, and then see how the wall is kind of staggered here. And I don't know, the sconces just really, really throw me off. So if you have any kind of suggestions, um, definitely leave me a comment below. I love to answer all my comments and chat with you. Um, and also you can follow me on Instagram. I love getting DMs over there as well.
my red and green and colored um, Ray Dunn pottery in this hutch and then in my kitchen I'm using more of an all white in both hutches I went really simple and kind of paired back a lot of um, I usually just go crazy I always like to say that my aesthetic is a uh, department store gone crazy I just love stuff everywhere but I really surprised myself I kept putting more in and then I would always take more out um, I don't know if I'm just kind of growing or my tastes are changing but um, I definitely pared back a lot for me this year I mean I do have what like six Christmas trees up in this house but um, Honestly, there was uh, totes of stuff that I didn't even use and that's really funny considering I went from a house that was half of the size and I had all this stuff up there for several years and then I moved to a much bigger house and I'm paring back, but I don't know. Um, maybe I just want a more simple kind of sweet Christmas display this year. host Christmas Eve at my house and Christmas Eve is kind of the bigger um, family day for everyone to come over and give gifts and eat really good food. I love um, just thinking up a new dinner and a new tablescape each year and then on Christmas Day we spend um, time with our individual families and just kind of stay in our pajamas and just have leftovers and it's just a really awesome couple days. Um, do you guys have any holiday traditions um leave me a comment below because i love learning more about you Chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family Making angels in the sand you read me Doesn't matter if it's This whole entire tablescape stemmed from that fairy light red berry garland. I just absolutely loved it and I wanted to do something just simple. Like I said, I've really been pairing it back. I wanted to just do a really simple tablescape, a really pretty tablescape. I'm using chargers from Dollar Tree and then of course my Ray Dunn plates. This year I decided to go ahead and set it as if I was going to have a um, dinner party so I'm going all out with the napkins and the silverware as well I'm sure we're going to enjoy having a dinner in here before um, we end up moving the chargers and the plates back to where they belong Another 
we're gonna dance. We're gonna okay. dance, 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 Come on. dance. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. Have a good time. Dance, dance, dance. All night long, we're gonna dance. One of our favorite traditions when the kids were little was getting a picture with Santa Claus and we would bring out each picture each year and we just built up a really fun um, collection of Santa pictures. I was really sad when they decided to stop. I think they decided to stop at year 10 but we did 10 years straight of Santa pictures and then they decided that they didn't want to do it anymore. Um, they are 16 and 13 so I understand why they wanted to stop and I wouldn't force them um, into it but I thought it would be kind of funny if they continued to just do it like stand by Santa or something but they didn't think I was funny um, but I am so thankful to have those pictures of them when they were little and I didn't worry about having the perfect outfit or if they cried it was just a natural let's stop by the mall let's get the picture done and it's sort of a snapshot real time of you know just real life with Santa Claus each year let's go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love. I definitely have a throw pillow problem. Um, I wanted to replace my gather with this beautiful Merry Christmas sign my mom got me for Christmas last year. This is the first year I get to use it and I was like, that's the perfect spot for it. It's almost like she knew I was going to be moving because we didn't have much wall space in my previous house and when she got me this big frame, I'm like, oh, where am I going to put this? But now in this house, I have the perfect spot. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away. And in a while, we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. A moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. So if you are a returning subscriber, you're going to notice that we filled in that hole under the TV with a faux fireplace and mantle. Yes, I know it's kind of cheesy, but it's better than what it was. And I'm going to share with you that entire DIY process in the next video. It would have taken up way too much time um, in this like Christmas decorating video. So I will show you exactly how we did it. Um, so stay tuned for Thursday's video. Riding through the winter night Thinking of my only wish I don't need a perfect snowman And I don't need the bells and vows But I'll be home for
This is a new tree as well. It's a little flocked pencil tree that I picked up from Michael's craft store. I knew that I wanted a tree in here because I just couldn't imagine not having a tree in my living room. Um, but I also knew I didn't want a gigantic one. So I went with a little pencil tree and just went really simple with a few family ornaments. And I also got that um, wicker collar from Home Depot. I actually meant to use that on my big tree, but it was too small for the big tree. So it works perfectly in here. Since this is our powder room and guest uses bathroom, I just wanted to put a little clear of the air that I got from Grove Collaborative. I do have a link in the description box below. That's where I get all of my Mrs. Myers and all of my cleaning supplies from is Grove Collaborative. And they always give like a little free gift or something when you sign up. So if you would like to sign up, you can use my link in the description box below. I just think the classic red and white Ray Dunn is just so pretty and just so, I don't know, it's just something very um, nostalgic about it with all the color that is coming out. Um, I just really wanted, like I said, to go simple in here, so I just added a little bit of greenery, and then I made the mistake of bringing out the fake snow, which gets everywhere, but I just felt like I needed to throw some of the fake snow in here. I might regret that in January when I'm trying to clean up everything, but in the moment, I felt like I needed the snow. Jingled once more, and then time almost came to the start. But somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas on, this Christmas on. This is why I picked out a dishwasher with a handle so I could display my seasonal towels on there. Um, I also switched out my soap dispenser for the Red Mary one and then I have my peppermint Mrs. Myers and of course I have some cute holiday themed um, sink drain plugs. I don't know why I picked those up but I just think that they're super cute. 
And of course I had to make some cookies for my little cake stand in the middle and they're not homemade. I just scooped them out of the tub and baked them. You know, you don't always have to do homemade. You can just do what's best for you in the moment. I know it seems like a lot in this corner with um, kind of the hot cocoa station and then the coffee station, but no meals or anything gets prepped over here. This is literally where we just fix our coffee in the morning. So I didn't mind cluttering up the counter over here because this isn't like prep area. I kept the island and um, around the stove as clean as possible because I know I'm going to be doing a lot of baking. Starting to snow And I realize As you had me up those chair covers from the Dollar Tree ages ago. The charges are Dollar Tree as well and my husband requested not to have a tall centerpiece in here so I just did a wreath and a little candle just to give a little bit of festiveness to this little kitchen table. This is the first year that I have a Christmas tree in my bedroom. Do you decorate your bedroom for Christmas? Um, I know it's a little extra, but it really does make, I don't know, it just makes the whole like festive season feel a bit more fun. Um, I got these sheets from Kohl's. I think they're the Sonoma brand. It's a very soft flannel. I also, if you can't tell, got new fluffy pillows from Walmart. I think they are the Serta brand and they were not fitting in these pillowcases. I struggled. Like, I felt like I was trying to, it felt like the one time that I was trying to, like, put some Spanx pantyhose on. It felt like that, trying to stuff all of that in that pillowcase. But in the end, it worked out great, and it just looks so fun and festive, and it's going to be so cozy in the winter months. Sometimes it's just adding a touch of 
red or Christmas or sparkle in some of your decor that you already own. Um, so I just wanted to add some berries and I love this picture. I actually got this from Kohl's as well a couple years ago and I figured um, on top of my husband's dresser was the perfect little spot for it. To me it's perfectly clear With all the flock trees, there's going to be a lot, a lot of vacuuming in my future for the months of November and December. I had to do my bathroom as well. I'm not going crazy in here. I'm definitely not putting a ton of things on my countertop because it's tiny as is and I just wanted to wipe it down and then just add a cute little hand towel over there for just a touch of Christmas. And then I'm going to be styling up those shelves that I have in the corner of my bathroom. I'm just going to be adding some um, festive touches, but hopefully not going too over the top. I feel like this is still a very simple little way of adding Christmas to my bathroom. You and me in the cold thought it never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Oh, I have stopped running. There is no way trying. You better loosen your belt. Drinking hot wine by the fire. Yeah. Don't care of anything else. It's Christmas. And some kind of love, my friend. Pray it will never end. Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas. Thank you so much for watching as I turn my house into a Christmas town and making every room super festive. Um, I'm also going to be decorating my kids loft area and bathroom in my next video. I just didn't want this one to run too long. Um, also, if you would like a Christmas home tour where I walk through and I explain where I got each and every piece, leave me a comment below because then I'll know that it's something that you would like to see. Um, hopefully everyone has a wonderful week and I will see you on Thursday. as I do. It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling. It is that time of the year.